Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Virgo, for the week of October 31st, right into November. Let's get started. A moon oracle for Virgo. What do you need to release? The waning moon. <clears throat> okay, Virgo. What do you need to release? Let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck? <coughs> Excuse me. Don't let your past hold you back. So, you need to release the past there, Virgo. <laughs> Let's get you an animal spirit card for Virgo. What kind of animal spirit is walking with Virgo? Virgo, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Animal spirit for Virgo. All right, come on, animal spirit. Oh, I saw that black egg twice. Oh, and the golden egg and the starfish pull up. I love this, Virgo. <clears throat> oh, and the stingray on the bottom of the deck. So the golden egg, unrealized potential, and you're about to burst wide open with it. You've been very resilient with the starfish here. So when a starfish breaks or gets... Uh, yeah, attacked maybe. Maybe you've been under attack. It grows its limb back. So very resilient. All right, let's get you an Osho Zen Tarot for up in the ether. What does Virgo not see coming here? Turning in. Look at this, the Four of Cups here. So really holding on, but watch your um, night uh, time here, Virgo. Don't tune into anything that's stressful or gets you all worked up and, and not lets you sleep at night. So it feels like you're just kind of being tormented at night. As soon as you close your eyes, there it comes. Uh, the master, look at this Virgo. You are coming into something really big here. And the miser and guilt and sharing. That's the eight of swords. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see what this is all about. So yeah, try some meditation at night. Try something to quiet your mind so that you don't have all of the stress of the day just weighing on you at night as soon as you try to go to bed. Ace of Swords, look at this, a cleansing of the mind, a new thought, a new creation of a thought too, brand new beginning there in, when it comes to your thoughts. What else in the mind space for Virgo spirit? What else for Virgo? Eight of Wands, look at this very fast moving energy coming into you. So yeah, thoughts going in and out, in and out, kind of dipping in and all, all, always visiting the dark side with you. I don't know what that is. And the Four of Cups too. So yeah, you're tired of looking at the past. You've been looking at the past for quite some time, trying to analyze, trying to figure out what happened here. And that's moving away from you. That is exactly what you have to release is the past, things that have hurt you, things that have traumatized things that have really held you back. It's time to let that go. And nighttime seems to be the time to do that with some quiet meditation time. Just find some peace before you go to bed. Um, maybe not even watch TV in bed if you're used to doing that. Really try to clear your mind at night and just listen to some soft music or something that's not stimulating. What else? What else in the mind space for Virgo? Virgo. Nine of Swords. Look at this fast energy, though, in and out, in and out. It's like <laughs> you're probably feeling very manic. One minute you're feeling very peaceful, sitting outside, enjoying Mother Earth, enjoying Mother Nature, and then these thoughts come in. So we'll find out what that's all about and how to cleanse that. What's in the heart space? What is Virgo feeling? What is Virgo feeling? My beautiful sisters of Virgo. I love Virgo energy too. Very solid, very strong, but you do tend to get up in your own head here, Virgo. Death and rebirth. Yeah, a whole new way for you to pull in peace and harmony and uh, meditation and just quiet time for Virgo. <laughs> like the hermit card <laughs> it says... You are looking for some peace. Oh my God. And look at all this manifestation power you have, Virgo. You are a master right now. You are bringing in your own magic, trying to create some kind of new future here, some kind of new beginning for yourself. So I love this. The Magician is the first card, number one card in the Major Arcana, right after the Fool. 
the Quarant comes into meeting the magician and the magician says, what is it that you would like on this journey? What does this journey bring to you? And uh, you're choosing, you're choosing. Yeah, what do I want on this journey? King of Swords, your sword is down. You're not feeling really defensive, but you're feeling a little apathetic here. So I feel like it's hard for you to tune into some real feelings here because you're up in your head a lot here. So yeah, meditation will bring in some true connection for you. I feel like Virgo wants to reconnect into the collective, into the mastermind of the consciousness, but it's bringing in some, some, um, it's bringing it all into you. So it feels a little overwhelming when you're trying to replug back in here. But boy, you, there's no stopping you from doing this. You're going to find peace and some serenity here in your meditation time. Five of Wands, look at this, some kind of competition or adventure really waiting for you, wanting you to get back in the game. It's like Spirit is just recalling Virgo out into the game again. Get back here. Get back here. They want to pull you back into the game here because <laughs> you're very good at it. You're very good at, um, uh, you're very good at multitasking. I can see that for sure. You've got a lot going on. You're feeling a little bit overwhelmed from so much going on here. I think it's Virgo. It's just a matter of cleansing your thoughts here of everything. It's like you're trying to let it all in to reconnect with it, to revisit um, it. So that just might feel a little overwhelming and it's making you feel a little apathetic that you're pulling away from it all because it just feels a little too overwhelming. What is this about? Let's look at the foundation for Virgo. But the major arcana in the heart line is beautiful. It's a, it's a, a reboot here. Rebirth for Virgo. Five of Cups, this is you letting go of the past, the past hurts, the past haunts. I feel like you're haunted by your past for some things and it just needs some cleansing out. It's like you are the golden egg. You're analyzing everything from the past to process it and to get through it so that you can get into something new. You need some new energy coming in here and that's exactly what's happening with death and rebirth and the magician coming into the heart space. So just let it go. Just really let it go. It doesn't have to be all figured out. It doesn't have to all be analyzed today. <laughs> Give yourself a break. I mean, you are the master. You are the master resolution finder. So um, you know, those answers will come to you, but this trying to figure it all out, this trying to get to the root of the problem is really bringing in some stress and headaches here. And uh, it just feels like you're reliving some moments that don't need to be relived, Virgo. It's, it's already done. It's in the past. It is time to let it go and try to ease up on those feelings of I should have done it differently or um, I should have uh, I should have. I just feel like you're sit sitting there thinking, I should have. And it's just making you feel very disconnected and sorrowful. Look at the Three of Swords coming into the foundation here with the Five of Swords. It really is too much for you to try to figure all this out at once. There's just no need to. There's no rush to figure this out. So just sit with Mother Nature. Sit with um, Mother Earth, the animals. You're, you're gaining so much wisdom with the owl here and the King of Swords. Spirit is watching over you. They really want you to come out of this energy and move into something new here. This heartbreak has gone on a little too long for you, Virgo. It's time to find some different emotions to deal with here. <laughs> yeah, it's time to move out of it. It's time to change cycles here with that death and rebirth. And I don't know if revisiting is really helping you. It's just really making you feel um, upset here. Two of Wands, look at this. You are trying to make a decision here. Do I stay or do I go? Do I sit in this sorrow or do I look for something new here? Do I actively seek out my own happiness here? And the answer is absolutely yes. There are rainbows waiting for you. There is happiness waiting for you. There's just a sense of peace waiting for you with the magician coming here. There's some kind of portal waiting for you to just dive into, to see the other side of things, to see the joy of life now, to grab the the uh, the beauty of life now. I really feel like you need to sit in some beautiful scenery, some beautiful um, ambient uh, something here to really cleanse. It's just a matter of cleansing out here. Cleanse the chakras like the stingray says to do here. Cleanse the chakras, meditation, quiet time. Don't plug into the news here. Don't plug into the arguments or the stress, especially in the United States with the political stress here. And, and, you know, the war and in uh, Ukraine, and there's just a lot of world stresses that I feel like Virgo is just plugging right into because you're a problem solver and you're trying to figure it out. 
And so you're revisiting things in your own personal life to see how uh, we can find resolution here as a collective. And it's just too much for you. It's too much burden on your shoulders here, too much sorrow um, energy that you're picking up on. We pick up on all kinds of energy all day long, Virgo. So it's time to just cleanse that out. It's some of, most of this energy is just not yours to have. It's just not up to you. It's up to so many different scenarios here, so many different variables here. So yeah, it's time to just cleanse it, get rid of it and move on to some happier, peaceful uh, thoughts here. It starts with the thoughts here. So I love this. I absolutely love this because you have the Ace of Swords. You're bringing in new thoughts. You're bringing in new ideas, new beginnings in your personal space here. And that's all, that's all you need. If each one of us could just sit in our own personal space here and find the joys and the the peace and serenity that is available to us at all times, then it would just be such a better world. <laughs> so I do love this Virgo. Let's see what kind of energy is coming at you this week. Let's look at that Ace of Swords. What are people thinking about Virgo? Seven of Wands, some boundaries have been drawn, some lines have been drawn here. So people have their guard up around you. For I think everyone has their guard up right now. It's just been really, really tough time. So people are just very defensive, very guarded. Let's see. Eight of Wands. What else are people thinking about Virgo? I knew that wanted to come out. The Knight of Swords. Harsh incoming words too. So you're hearing, you're listening to things that really get your stomach churning, that get you nervous, that get you stressed. There's just a lot of harshness around you right now. So sit in that peace with your animals, reconnect with the animals of the world, and that'll just make you feel so much better. Just a day out with the dogs. <laughs> two of wands. Look at this. You've got two, two of wands. So there's two of you planning something here. You're in preparation mode for something here to bring something into your experience here. Maybe you and your partner are planning some kind of trip or um, get away or retreat to try to escape some of this chaos. What else? What else are people thinking about Virgo? Yeah, look at this with the world coming in. They are ready for change with you. They are not liking this harshness either. There's a partner that's around you that really is feeling discontented with the harshness around you. So they're feeling very guarded with everyone. They really connect with you and um, they feel safe with you. They feel home with you. So that is beautiful to see. It's uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus energy. So it could be any sign, but um, this person is really wanting a new beginning too. They want just, they don't want to talk about it anymore. They don't want to think about it anymore. They don't want to know the, all the wrongs in the world right now. They're just really needing some peace and like you and um, needing to see the good in the world. What's the good news? I feel like they're asking you, what's the good news today? <laughs> Three of cups on that death and rebirth in the heart space celebration. There is celebration with your friends here coming in. So there's just some kind of small victory coming for you that your friends are celebrating, that they're happy to see you're going through this. And um, maybe it's your death and rebirth. I think so, because you're just starting to change the conversation. You're starting to change the, um, vibration of the conversations that you're having. So you're bringing in just so much happier energy here. You're laughing a lot more and you're celebrating a lot more. <clears throat> I love that. That's what's bringing you out of your head here. Oh my God, they have death and rebirth as well on top of your magician. So you are both creating a brand new beginning when it comes to conversation, when it comes to your thoughts, when it comes to your quiet time. It's like you used to talk about the news. You used to catch up on the day at night and now you're just vegging out you're just watching um mind-numbing shows now you're not you're not tuning into you know uh 48 hours or true crime anymore it's just too much for you so you're really filtering out the the uh stimuli that's coming at you both love this <laughs> virgo got a filter <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Look at how much they want this happy home too. the security. They don't want to talk about the bad news. They don't want to bring in any kind of tense conversation uh, when they're looking for peace too. So it's like um, you're both just wanting this happy home, this abundant home, this really feeling of freedom. I just feeling like both, both of you want freedom. You want freedom from the stress. 
eight of swords, they are up in their head. They get in their own way when it comes to this. They're kind of back and forth as well when they dip into the good news. And then all of a sudden something comes in and sideswipes them and they, their thoughts go back into the dark here, into the stress of it all. And it is stressful. So it is time to just disconnect your thoughts from that. Really be apathetic to all the stresses and woes in the world and tune back into the goodness of the world. It is still out there. There are still all kinds of acts of random kindness going on. And it's time to tune into that. Change your causes here. Change your activism of what you want to see in your life. What do you want to see in um, your experience here? Four of Cups, there's that apathy that you had too. So they're just bored with it. They're done with it. They're done with any kind of uh, external stimuli coming in and interrupting their peace as well here too, like you are. So yeah, I, I do like that. The first first thing you do is disconnect. Second thing you do is search for better feeling thoughts, better feeling emotions here. Knight of Cups, and here they come, offers a better feeling emotion coming to you right on top of your Five of Swords where you're feeling angst, you're feeling stress. And um overcome with nerves, overcome with stress. And here comes offers of love to soothe that for you. They want to feel you soothed. They want to see you soothed. Knight of Wands inspired action coming on your heartbreak here. So there is grief and sorrow in the past here. You have experienced, you've gone through something here, Virgo. You've experienced something here. So that's why it's just kind of popping up in your in your mind of what it felt like and what you did and how you survived it like the starfish here and how you grew back your heart and how you mended and there was all these this process going on for you and now it's time to just sit back and enjoy what you've done here what you have processed here what you've survived what you've been through here but cleanse that energy get rid of those blockages that are really holding you back from feeling true, true joy here and peace here. It's just a matter of cleansing. That's it. You just have to detoxify the past traumas and what you've been through here. So yeah, you're regrowing back like the starfish. You are regenerating cells here. You're healing yourself here big time. And you have a partner here that is helping you to heal. Look at this with the emperor and the five of wands. There is some competition around you. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe you're in a field that's very competitive or it just feels competitive. Maybe your conversations have just been competitive or people trying to prove their own point around you. So it just feels very competitive around you. But again, this person, I think, wants an adventure with you too, with peace and harmony and wants to get away from the stresses of the world with the Ten of Swords, the betrayal on the bottom of the deck for your person. They feel just as wounded by the past events of the world or their own personal experiences here. So there's a lot of wounding that has happened here, but there's a lot of healing that is happening here. You just have to really watch what you're, what you're consuming at night. Watch what you are taking in, what you're feeding on. And it does not mean food. I mean, uh, external stimuli here. Just really be mindful of that, that you are healing right now. So you don't need everyone's stories of fear and, um, and angst. You just need stories of goodness. Really plug into the stories of the good and your your partner here too, your person here too. Just cleanse, just cleanse those chakras here and meditate and bring in good food and bring in good conversation and good music. Really tune into some music that makes you feel better. It's going to change your vibration, Virgo, and you're both going to just soar through this retreat that you're going on or this thing you're planning here together. So really, really beautiful, but kind of intense, really intense because you're trying to walk in both worlds here. You're trying to walk in the angst of the world that's going on here, the the threat of end times here, the nuclear threat that we keep, you know, having down on our heads here. And then you're trying to walk, yeah, but things can change. Things can change. Things are changing. The only constant is change. And so you're walking these kind of two worlds here. Just step into the world that makes you feel better here, Virgo. Step away from the information that scares you or makes you feel nervous. Step into the peace and the harmony that's waiting for you, the loyalty that is around you. This partner really has your back and really um, feels what you feel. You're like mirroring each other when it comes to angst and when it comes to celebration and good times and just feeling relaxed. When's the last time you really just sat back and said, boy, I feel really good. I'm feeling really relaxed without these things going through your mind and brain tormenting you here. So <laughs> just a matter of cleansing, cleanse it out and you're going to feel so much better. You're just going to really 
um, wake up with a lighter heart and your dreams are going to get lighter as well if you if you follow that just listen to some youtube meditation nighttime meditation and some mantras um, about goodness and peace and and um love here so I, I love this so yeah this is temporary this angst it's going to ease up for you if you can just de detoxify the fear just get rid of the fear that people are serving to you and just just block it just kick it away cleanse the chakras cleanse those blockages and boy it's just the sky's the limit you've got the world and you've got the death and rebirth and the magician here so it is just a matter of changing your thoughts change your thoughts change your life here so Beautiful, beautiful. I love this reading, Virgo. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I hope you have a fantastical week, and I will definitely tune in soon.